peoples, Arth Wampier, and welcome to episode 35 and the finale episode of World's End Club Blind. Last time we entered the area where Vanilla is being held in the capsule, we freed her, and we sent Pochi in to destroy Mike from within, destroy his personality, because we found out that Yuki is a sub personality of Mike, as I predicted. And that if we destroyed the core, My Yuki would disappear. Mike would disappear though, so really we don't want Yuki disappearing. So we sent Pochi in. He, Mike brought up a firewall. We now gotta find three keys. Now let's get going. I'm not the leader anymore, but just let me say it. Go getters club. Hey, hey, oh. Well, Pochi's technically out of commission for the time being, so you could so you could be a little vice leader. Rachel is also gone, so well. Okay, from the look of it, we're going to be doing with three different level, three different sections of the levels, each using a di using a variety of powers. Going this way, right? Yeah, seems like it. Mochan, don't get lost, okay? Don't worry. Even if I get lost, all I have to do is follow your scent, Yoro, and I'll be right back with you. How is it that you can be both obsessed with food and the biggest simp of, and a huge simp of all time? I was about to say biggest simp of all time, but no, no, no. Zasp and Koki, and, sorry, not Zasp, but Kokichi. Yeah, Kokichi. What the hell is off, Wolf? I am no simp. I only laugh. The only laugh I have is the laugh of the weekend. And also Himiko. But I am simp for Imiko. Only the weekend. Yeah, Kazuichi and, Mo and Zasp. gross all right so this is what love is huh if that is love i am if that's your definition of love genu i am very much afraid of what your definition of pervy is no. all right Yeah, super tall robot yeah. makes his return. Although this is the part that Mike is trying to defend. Mike doesn't care about his core. He doesn't care about anyone. Just <laughs> love how I get that game over. It's not the final area of this game until I get a game over. What do I do? Oh great, they're doing fireworks inside my area. Okay, I'm gonna lead it away. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you think ahead. Yeah, sorry you hear the booming. It's just 4th of July, fireworks. Yeah, that just goes to show you just how far advanced I record these episodes. Because I get into these games. I get excited. I get really pumped for this. Okay, 4th of July evening, and my neighbors are firing off fireworks, so hopefully you don't hear that. Yes. Can I? And not blow myself up with the bomb. But Neuro's you can use Neuro's bombs to show the puzzle blocks that make the up the block puzzle from Neuro and the others. Yours bombs automatically walk to away from her, stand in front of the block you want to destroy, press the buddy skill button. Press the switch to initiate the electric current. If you arrange the blocks incorrectly, the puzzle re will reset. Hmm. 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 I see. Hmm. I see. 
good haul. Put this there. I was so close! There we go. All right. Wow, nice. <laughs> what the? Just yeah, just troll us with the giant roly poly. Hey, just Noro gets hit. I love how they do the stickers, the sticker effect. Just have to trick us with that. Are you okay, Noro? Yeah, somehow. What? What did you do? <laughs> Touch Mo yeah, Mochan simping powers are active. Then Mochan's gonna transform into Zasp into the Super Saiyan form. He's gonna get the, his hands on that Mafia Neuro bathwater, and he's gonna transform into a Super Saiyan simp. His hair will turn pink, <laughs> and he'll gain a stinger and some wings. To my precious Neuro! Oh, look, look at that Nor that Mochan sprite. It's demonic. Look at it. This is the true power of a simp. The Sephiroth theme starts playing. Dum 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 da 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 <laughs> love, him. love how, how Mochan, who's actually one of the less vulgar characters, just gets vulgar. He starts like crap. And then he basically starts. Yeah, but I actually kind of like the Mochan levels. Because you can just mindlessly roll at them. The only thing I don't like is that you have to go out to push them. I don't like the push. Why can't we just bash them off to the side like the little ones? What?
Come on, I was trying to be cool. Okay. Oh, that's because it was a slightly bigger one. I'm sorry, it looked identical. Really, the size difference is not all that great. Okay, that was easy. So we're fighting you. Uh, so am I missing something? Because I'm kind of falling off the ledge. I'm kind of running out of room. Uh, am I missing something? Am I missing something, game? Because I'm kind of rolling at it. Yeah, Mochan and his simp strength. Pretty nice area, I'd say. Yeah, I'm plugging in. Oh, sorry, except on my thing. Oh, where's my battery? I guess here's the cable. Freak, if only this thing was longer. <coughs> sorry. Look at you go, Mochan. <coughs> sorry, sorry about the cough. You look so cool back there, Mochan. My heart totally skipped a beat. Thanks, Mochan. All you have to do now is let Mochan brush your hair. I don't want your thanks. You, he just wants a lock of your hair so he can put it under his pillow. But instead, could you give my belly a poke? Uh, that is a very weird fetish, Mochan. That is a very weird fetish. Huh? Why did it for me before? I can't forget how good it felt. Okay, we found Mochan's kink. Go on, Yoro. Do him a favor. Jenu, you're enjoying this, aren't you? Just look at that face of Jenu. Jenu's just laughing so much at, at Nyoru's pain. Why is it gotta be me? Hey, you're the one he's crushing on. Oh, fine. I'll do it. Here goes. And just a little poke, okay? <laughs> this is gonna traumatize Nyoru just as bad much as the daddy issues. <laughs> That sound is going to haunt Nuru's <laughs> nightmares for the rest of time. So this is what love is, huh? <laughs> Jenu, you have very strange definitions for love. Quit it, Jenu! Hey. Are you really sure this is the way? No doubt about it. Let's just keep going. Yeah, big music.
Come on. Yeah, force field power for the win. I had the shield up. Okay, at least they don't make us see the cutscene again. All Yeah, I love the barrier. One of my favorite powers, actually. Okay, good. The sphere, explosive sphere bombardment is gone. To use Aniki's finicky power. Aniki, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry. It's nothing. You gotta stay back, Pi. And let Aniki die several dozen times. Something like that was gonna happen because of finicky hitboxes. Everyone gets to die at least one more time. Us. It's just tapping us. It's tapping us on the torso. It's tapping us on the shoulder. How is it doing this? Anarchy smash! Anarchy smash! Okay, there's the sticker. Iron Marshall. Of course, we get a freaking mini boss that's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me on the inside, isn't it? Joy, joy. Yeah. 
Freaking Aniki's attack has such a finicky range to it. I get that basically the gameplay wasn't the utmost priority for them, but come on. This should be at least a little better. Just make it with a wind-up's a little better. Okay, that one was my fault. That one was my fault. Entirely, 110% my fault. And I will admit to that. I will admit to that that it was my fault. Okay. Freaking smiling robots. There we go. We win. Victory. And we get a nice little bridge. Very nice. Yay! Anything here? I go get the green one or the blue one. The console key, blue. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Aniki. Huh? You protected me earlier, right? Yeah. I owe you so much. You saved me at Shirakawago. Plus, what I did, I did for myself, too. Huh? Oh, yeah. A actually, I... I... Are we getting the admittal? Um, how do I say Go it? Go and make your feelings, Aniki. Uh... Huh? Oh, it's happening. <laughs> These are the shipping rooms. The mushroom, the amygdaclear? The amygdaclear ships it. <laughs> There's an angel singing here, too. Uh, oh, you're right. We're beneath the sea. This is heaven, after all. <laughs> yeah, and then basically I can just imagine what they're going to do for Chikansai and Chuko. And then just... We get Tatsun just third wheeling it. Tatsun being the king of the third wheels. If Tatsun's not getting any from his pink ranger waifu, then no one is. Then no one's getting any. Quit dawdling, dum dum and ugly. <laughs> really, Tatsun? Really? You're call you're trying to pick a fight with Kansai? You're calling Kansai dumb and you're dissing his bye? Really? They're gonna have a date already. It's gonna be beating the crap out of you. Wrong way. Dum dum? Ugly. The other way round. Whatever, let's get going. If we don't hurry, poor Yuki's gonna. Still hung up on Yuki, huh? Yeah, Chuko. Just knowing that you're losing your bye to a freaking AI. Why? 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 I thought I could run past it with Yuki. I mean, with Chuko's increased speed. Yes, Chuki. Chuko and Yuki fuse. We basically put Yuki inside Chuko's head. They become one. Yeah, I love how just how Chuko can just obliterate the flowers with her power. 
We don't need to throw anything at these guys. Just roast them. Roast them to a crisp. So since Mike generated in that roly-poly, does that mean that Mike's generating in these stickers? Harumi Izumi. Hmm. Let's see what's in my collection for the scrap, the sticker book. Okay, apparently I'm only missing two stickers. Very good if I do say so myself. Yes, very good. Oh, come on! I hit that guy with fire. I hit him with fire. I can. I know I hit him with fire. Can't they just checkpoint us after? Yeah, can't they just checkpoint it after the we get across the girder? Yeah, and then Chuko is as strong as Mochan. He, she has that, she has that strength. She has that tsundere strength. Oh, thank you. At least this one's a nice, quick jaunt with offensive powers. Why couldn't we be like beautiful Joe? All right. Yeah, I like how Tatsune has the coolest costume, yet his power is one of the most limited in the group. Nothing is impossible for Electro Ranger Black. Whatever. Kansai. 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 Why she get? Why she go get the roly poly bite disease now? You okay, Chuko? No big deal, is what I want to say, but I think walking is going to be tough. Pipsqueak. <laughs> Tatsun, just freaking dissing your poor, your injured friend. <sighs> yeah, and then just constantly just smacks Tatsun with the baseball bat. Hey, Tatsun, stick with Chuko, would ya? I'm going to go get the key by myself. Are you sure? But Tatsun's in his regular form. Why is Tatsun then speaking with his Electro Ranger filter? Quit stressing. I'll be fine. Sorry, Kansai. Do it for Yuki, okay? Hey, you don't need to remind me. But Chuko, I'm not just getting the key for Yuki's sake, okay? Chuko, I'm doing this for you too. Huh? What's happening? It's happening. The Chusai ship is sailing. If the world doesn't get back to normal, you'll be upset, right? Actually, I'm going to be way more upset. Because if that happens, if that happens, then I won't be able to build a bright future with you. Yeah, it's happening, all right. The ship is sailing. Really, that ship is sailing. Now we just get to whack some things with Kansai. That just that's gonna be fun. Kansai actually has a pretty fun power to use since you just whack people with a baseball bat. Yep. Oh, this is fun. 
Revenge! Oh, Kanzai just has such wonderful range with his power. What the? Yeah! <laughs> Nothing can stop Kante's baseball bat. Just give Kante a blunt weapon. He'll just destroy what everything. I do? Ah. And Kante just falls into the sewer and dies. The end. The Mazer. Well, that was convenient. Good thing I left that sewer, that sewer grate open. What should I do? Okay, is this it? Is this seriously Kanzai's portion? No boss, no anything? Yeah, hey, right, that's convenient for me. Green key. to the bright future we're going to build together. Kansai! Chuko. Then Todd's even the third wheel. Oh, hold on a moment! Yeah, and then we get Todd soon, leaving Kansai with balls as blue as his hair. Too young for that kind of stuff. And that's when Tatsun gets slammed out of the park with the baseball bat. <laughs> Classic Tatsun. <laughs> Such a goody two shoes. Is one of their dates seriously gonna be bullying Tatsun? Is that everything? Yep, I'm all set here. All that's left is to press this key. Here goes! The firewall should be down now. We just need Pochi to pull through for us. We're counting on you, Pochi. And I suppose you go do that. Walk up to Mike. Well, Mike just delivers some GLaDOS great insults. What? Pochi! The rest is up to you! Delete Mike's personality! Oh. Okay. I never let you get away with such a thing. It's now going to PLP mode. Okay, final showdown. Thing. I don't know. What the heck am I even looking at? What? Pochi, this thing is Mike's personality program. What the frick was Yoru's father doing when she when he made this? Was he on the Amicta Clear? If you take it down, Mike's personality should get deleted. 
And how should I do that? What about Yuki? Don't worry. That thing only contains Mike's personality. I'm protecting Yuki's personality using the admin control mode. So that means. Yep. You just gotta put an end to that thing. How? Okay. I got it. Here goes nothing. Can you hear me? You can see me, right? Yes, Pochi, we can see you. You've helped me out so many times up until now. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, Pochi, if you knew exactly what was going down, you would not be thanking me. You would consider me a monster, an inept monster that has caused you and your friends to die countless times. Can you help me this one last time? Oh, I can believe the game, Pochi. Protecting Yuki. Erasing Mike. Yeah. Restoring humanity's emotions. Yeah, Pochi, I could blow your mind right now. Tell you about how you're fiction. Those are our goals. Fiction. The only capable of saving the world is you. So I'm asking you, please, one last time. I just love how this game is just a giant ego stroke for the player. Making, basically, the main pro tag, basically, Pochi, who's this gamer... Making it where the gamer is basically the powerful being. Right. More platform. Right. Okay, so I'm basically press Y for the boss fight. Yeah, I don't even know what the frick this is supposed to be. Sorry, Pochi! You are a monster, Zarthwab! You are a monster! Right. Could it be? Yes, we gotta destroy them. We gotta destroy it all. Ice lips! Freaking Okami did! Ice lips are coming after my ass! Press Y to win! There! Parts gonna break off probably. Okay, now we can go deeper. But this is actually kind of fun. I have to say, this is actually a pretty fun boss fight, if I do say so myself. So mud, slippery, slippery, goopy, goop mud. We can do this. Yeah, that siren does kind of freak me out a little. Okay, one down, another several to go. 
boom. effect i thought it was basically oh hey it just creates a status condition it just creates a thing that makes it harder to navigate the arena down what parts gonna be lost this time okay half of the terminals have been downed okay just gotta reach the next one you know, this boss fight kind of reminds me of the Stink Losses fight from Tack and the Guardians of Gross. I find it, it's kind of odd, just giant spear-like creature in the middle of a circular arena. The only difference is that we're not deflecting giant goop missiles back at it. There it is over there. Really, this is a this is a cool fight, I have to say. What's this one gonna do? Okay, probably I do not want to land in the lava field. Are good. Okay, we've lost another bit of the floor. Okay, I'm gonna wanna run to the left when I get this next console. to go and we have this game beat. Now we just have to deal with Mike's weird baby hands that apparently Nuru's father thought were pivotal to its design. Do not deny the baby hands! And the many other hands! W what? Did Nuru's father have a weird hand fetish? A 
All right. Right. No. No, 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 no. All right. Huh? What the? We did it. We won. We we beat Mike. Okay. <sighs> You're just a giant floating rock. Was was this part of Nuru's father's vision? I want a giant floating rock. Nuru Daddy, why is your Daddy, why is your AI just a giant floating rock? Shut it, Nuru! Sorry, Nuru, I have a vision! Are we gonna fight Mike and some super some dang rock? Sorry. Well, are we gonna fight him, Dragon Ball Z style? Are we gonna fist fight? That's just what some simulation says, right? That's right. But my simulations are flawless. If your simulations are flawless, then how come you didn't predict this? You think so? Then why didn't you predict this would happen? A simulation like that doesn't prove anything. <sighs> you can't predict the future of humanity, however good your simulations are. Because humans have these completely illogical things called emotions. And now I just realized, since two of Mike's personalities are female, shouldn't, wouldn't that technically make Mike overall female? What I realized spending time with the go-getters is that emotions are wonderful. Laughing so hard with your friends that your stomach hurts. Crying so much that you can hardly breathe. Those moments are so precious. Nothing can replace them. That's why I'm going to keep protecting humanity's emotions here on out. Bye, Mike. And now Yuki is Mike. Yuki tricked us all into doing this so that way she could spread her cooking and lifeguard across the world. This game is brought to you by Lifeguard. Let's go reveal this all in one big simulation. This was one of us this was a simulation in Mike's head. Pochi? Pochi. <laughs> Don't worry, Pochi. We'll recycle you into several cans of Sprite. <sighs> I'm back. Yeah! By the way, how's Yuki? Safe and sound as you can see. Thanks to you guys. Oh, that's a relief. She woke up before you got back. She says her memories and emotions are all fine. Mr. Pochi, 
Mr. Pochi? Hyper mega super duper pippity poppity, thank you! Yes, you got the pippity poppity. Now you are Yuki's property. Getting that badge back. Plus, Vanilla is back with us. And we managed to save Yuki! On top of that, Mike is destroyed! Humans have gotten their emotions back. Everything is all taken care of now. Thank you so much, Pochi. I'll give you a kiss later to say thanks. Thought you would have had Lifeguard. Give him a bottle of Lifeguard to thank him. Mochan's frozen up again. Then Mochan just smashes Pochi in his sleep. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Pochi? You look kind of troubled. Um, well, it's just that Vanilla said everything was all sorted. But there's one thing we're missing, right? There's 12 go-getters in total. Yeah, we're gonna get Rachel. But there's only 11 of us. We're gonna reprogram Rachel. Uh, uh, Why can't we just build a new Rachel? Uh, uh, oh. It's okay. I'm here. Set Rachel's gain sentience. No! Rachel! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Isn't it obvious? I will destroy you all for your robophobia. Us both starting with you, Yuki. I don't care. <laughs> like, like, even if this world comes to an end, the Go Getters Club will never fall apart. How do you have a personnel? You don't even have an AI. At least repair up Rachel's body. Give him some flesh once more. Rachel! Okay, credit time. Okay, are we doing the credits? Are we getting the good credits? Oh, it's, it's just a fade, World of Light. But they didn't explain what the prologue was. Okay, anyways. This series, I really enjoyed it. It really brought back a lot of good memories from my time playing Danganronpa, particularly when I was playing Ultra Despair Girls. No, I just really want to apologize, though, for just how I was a bit, my commentary was a bit all over the place. How just, there were some times when I couldn't get my thoughts straight and just, and I was just fumbling with my words. I, and also for those times when I would just go quiet. I am really sorry. Okay, but anyways, we get this cool art. But yeah, I really liked the characters, though. They were all a lot of fun. I did... There was not a single one I hated, because, really, all the personalities were great. They were all fleshed out. Mojan kind of had a few moments, as well as Tatsun. But overall, they were pretty good. Really, and the, the, the thing is, while I was playing this game, I couldn't help but think, if these kids were in high school, if they were... If they were a few years older, they would have made a good Danganronpa cast. Really, they would have had some good chem some good synergy. And they would have actually been the first killing game group that I would have not disliked. But still, this series it does have its very own flair. That well, it does remind me a lot of Danganronpa. It also has its own elements where that really set it apart, and I really like it. Grand Slammer hit it out of the park. Yes, we get the emotionless neon just right there. Dressed up in black, a sparking superhero. Staley Chef, he is here to lead the way. Raging power, the grass shakes below. We will never give up on our dreams. Okay, now I, when I was in the main menu, I saw a gallery screen. Which I will check out after this. It, there won't be a dedicated bonus episode because I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like an art gallery, something like that. Our 
Okay, just gotta wait for the credits now. I don't think I can read the B movie script while this song is playing. Okay, okay. Now I think I can actually concentrate on my thoughts. Okay, Bowie movie script! Gotta do this! Gotta keep it alive! Okay, gotta find where I was leaving off last time. Gotta find where I was in the B movie script. Okay. We started off. Darn it! Darn Pochi, you stopped the freaking. I think Pochi stopped the B movie script. Pochi shot that he knew I was planning. Yeah, taking Kansai's hat and hi and Janella doing the hair while feeding while feeding Aniki strawberries. It's complete. Yeah, look how they're now friends with the cult. The master, the master's now upset that his computer god has been destroyed. And meanwhile, Nuru and her daddy issues. And we're building PLP. We were, we were building PLP. Wait, was it PLP's personality kind of trashed? Yeah, and Niki gets his haircut. The, uh, that is the, how you know things have ended well. And Niki got his haircut. The balance of the universe has been shifted in to, into harmony once more. Are they going to send us back to the main menu or what? Are they going to keep us on the map screen? The extra super bo ultra po po bonus, poe poe bonus mode. Thank you. This was all down to you. But I will not allow you to read the B-movie script. Thanks to you, we saved Vanilla, Yuki, and even Rachel. Defeating Mike and restoring humanity's emotions, that was all you. Everything, everything is thanks to you. The world will slowly go back to normal. And us go-getters will grow up. Little by little. Before long, we'll be adults. Except you, Pochi. You're a robot. You'll be stuck like that forever unless you transfer your AI into something else. But whatever happens, however much time passes, one thing will never change. That's you and me. We'll be friends forever. Oh, great. Is Pochi going to pull a Doki Doki Literature Club? He's going to be like Monica from that game. He's going to haunt my Switch. Zarthwomp, why are you playing a different game? Are you bored with me? Friends for eternity, at the world's end. The end. Can you somehow get game over? Ah! Game over, game over, yeah! <laughs> yeah, but this is a good time for recording for me. Obtain the Go Care Club theme song. In case you haven't heard that enough times during the course of this playthrough. Are they going to send me back to the main menu? To the map screen? To what? Oh, and they even changed up the, the tile screen theme. Yeah, they had this tile screen like this ever since we finished the whole undersea portion in the Game of Fate. 
But yeah, they changed up the ma the title theme. Gallery. Yeah, let's see what the gallery has. Yeah, as I predicted, just movies. So yeah, we can essentially see all the cutscenes. We can see several cutscenes. We can see the credit. We can see the credits. We can see the journey is not over yet. I'll never forget. Let's head to Tokyo. The world's end. Yeah, that very first intro cutscene. We reach the island. We reach the mainland. We reach the surface. Art. Yeah, I'm not showing the movies because we already saw them. Yeah, we can see some art. Uh, uh, how are these two different from each? Oh, yeah, just a different sprite. Uh, yeah, Rachel with his mouth open. Rachel without his mouth open. Wait, that Tatsu sprite slightly different? No, no, the Tatsu sprite is not different. Oita area with the roly polies. Yeah, just spinning pie. Yeah, we've seen all these images before. So much Racho. So much Pochi. Music. We can listen to the music. Pretty cool that they included an actual soundtrack in here. Yeah, we can listen to the theme. Yeah, but I like how Pielope's theme just sounds like something you hear out of a Chuck E. Cheese. Five Nights of Pielope's. Okay. Okay, where is it? Uh, here it is. Yeah, Wait Wait is actually my favorite song from this game. And I've had and I've listened to it quite a few times off camera while doing other things. It's actually pretty fun. It's a pretty cool theme for when you feel like you're doing something important, like you're changing the future. But yeah, I'm really liking this recording time. Really? Who knew that late at night I actually feel a lot more energetic and a lot more vibrant? Really, maybe I should start recording it this time. Yeah, that could actually work. You know, I actually feel like I'm charismatic at this time. I feel like my inhibitions have been lowered. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. Firm Friends Showdown. Now, here the story begins. Cussing the song. I like how this is just the name of the song. Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey, what is this, Fat Albert? Yeah, swanky Fat Albert song. Will you be my friend? The master. Yeah, this song. It is orange of evil. Into the heart of the cult. Crabs, crabs, medicine, and silver ball and silver balls. Okay. Okay, I think that we've actually looked at everything. So anyways, I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this series. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you at the start of my next Let's Play. The start, the first episode, which will be uploaded on the date that's specified in the description for this episode. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.